So here's a little update on the servo motor. It's a sewing machine motor that I got on eBay. They were like 150 bucks. It's one horsepower. I think it's a very nice upgrade. Clearly I had to do, let's uh, zoom this in. Clearly I had to do some adapter work and uh, some other work in the back. I think there's a gear and I got a couple different size belts because they, they take a while to get. And I mounted the uh, speed control up here. It's what came in the sewing machine kit. But it's pretty cool. It goes uh, pretty fast. And stops fast too. Um, here, let me pull this thing off. Give a little closer view here. Um, again, this is the sheet metal work. This is also a five inch chuck that I did, which is really nice. You don't have to, re you know, reverse the teeth on this thing if you want to cut some cut some pipe but what's really amazing is the performance um whoops and being a servo motor it doesn't slow down when there's load under it so um i have noticed that this thing it still has the uh rubber mounts on it so it does move around quite a bit um and so when it does start cutting i'll have it at 1000 or 1100 rpm and uh the vibration brings it down to down to zero or 400 so that's the next thing i have to figure out but anyway watch this thing cut okay so this is the vivor i posted a video of um of uh getting this thing for about 400 bucks on ebay it was really gutless when you try to turn anything i mean maybe some half inch like hollow rod it was okay this thing is really impressive now um let me uh go ahead and start making some cuts with it As you can see, it doesn't even phase it. It's just when it starts bouncing, the speed changes. That's what's going on here. So I'll bring it back up. Yeah, let's try 1300. lowering the speed by itself so that's something I got to work on Anyway, here's a little more close-up of the rig here. This is the part you're going to find. All I did was take the spring off of it, and you can see what it does. I'm not sure if that will read out on there. But anyway, that's kind of a cool thing. If there's enough interest, I'll uh, take this thing apart and show you exactly what I did to upgrade that. I do have a whole video of putting a 5 inch lathe head on here and making the backing plate. Um, that would be a lot easier to do with this servo up upgrade. It was really punishing to make this thing with the stock motor in this. But anyway, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.